Hi everyone, welcome to another Pixlr tutorial. Uh, today we're going to learn how to use the brushes in Pixlr. Now, uh, brushes are an important component when doing image editing, and I know programs like Adobe Photoshop utilize brushes quite a bit, but if you don't know, Pixlr also has brushes. Now before I get started, um, the images I'll be using today are, are found on stockbulb.net. Um, there's a picture of an astronaut that I'll be use, I'll be showing you guys uh, by Joshua Smith. Um, there's this image of this young girl, and you can find this on Stock Exchange, and the, it was uploaded by Chris Watt K. And also this picture here of someone doing yoga uh, by <laughs> this individual here. I guess I really don't know how to say their names, but uh, yeah, definitely check them out. I'll post some links on my YouTube channel to make sure you can find those images. So, uh, now let's get started. So as you can see in this image, um, you can see a lot of different uh, elements in here. There's a lot of these weird uh, greenery plants that are showing up and, and these little stalks. I'm not really sure what to call them, but little tiny flowers and hearts here. Uh, and you can definitely do this on your own photos. Um, this, isn't, this isn't the best example, but you can definitely do this yourself. Uh, here also I did it on this example here, some simple, or simple and easy um, little plants and things like that, and also these star elements here. And also this banner I've shown before, uh, before the background I used a cloud background, an image of some backgrounds of clouds, but in this case I've changed it and used a brush tool to show some more galaxy uh, related uh, content in the back. So I'm going to show you how to use the brush tools. I'm going to quickly jump into a, an instance of, an open instance of Pixlr, and I'm going to grab the brush tool right here on the left hand side, and to access the other brushes, you're going to click up here under this value of 50, and click on more. When you click on more, you're given an option of these different artistic brushes uh, that appear here, and uh, they'll load up depending on what you want. So there's a lot of different options, and you can definitely take the opportunity to check these out yourself. Um, but I'm going to load up a few of these. So when I made those grassy things, I used vector stocks. I'm going to add that. I'm going to click on more. Um, I'm going to click on heart shapes. You can add those as well. And you can pretty much load up any of these that you like, uh, whichever ones work best for you. And Galaxy, I'm going to add that. Uh, just Even just quickly showing you, I mean, you can quickly do some amazing stuff. Uh, I know hearts are really popular, I guess, as certain items. Uh, you can change the color here, this is the foreground color, I believe. And uh, you can just simply click and add hearts or something like that, if you're trying to make some sort of card. Uh, if you use the scatter option, what that does is if you hold the left mouse button down and you just drag across, um, or even if you just click around, it'll try to scatter the brushes that you add uh, to make it seem as if they're not all in the same spot. So that's pretty cool. And also, um, and let's check this one out. So you can kind of see how the brush tools work, and, and you can definitely see uh, how they can be used in, uh, in Pixlr or even in your own images. So let's quickly jump to uh, the images I was planning to work with. So there's a picture of that young girl, and what we're going to do is I'm going to use the brushes that I just pulled up, uh, and this time I'm going to use those vector stocks here. Okay, You can kind of see how I'm placing them right now. I'm going to change the color to a darker green. And I'm just going to leave scatter on, and I'm just going to hold the left mouse button and drag right across. And if you turn on scatter, it'll automatically jag, uh, make these the placement of these very jagged. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get another vector stock that I used, and I'm going to change the this color here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, and just hold the le left mouse button and just drag across. There you go. And if you want, you can add 
find some hearts in your image too, whatever floats your boat. Also, um, one thing to note is you can change the diameter or the size of the image or the, the brush by changing the diameter right here. And if you make it even larger, it'll even make the, the brush size larger. The only problem is, because this particular brush tool isn't a vector, you're going to reduce the quality of that particular brush. So be careful with that, and uh, just with practice you'll get the feel for it. And there you go, something very simple uh, that you can do. And here was the image that I made before this banner. And I'm going to disable the background layer I used. I'm going to leave the gradient layer that I created. Uh, and I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to put it right there at that spot. Uh, this is going to be called the new background layer. And I will go to my brush tool. I will go to my galaxy related ones. I don't know which ones I used originally, but um, it's okay. I'm going to reduce the diameter size because it's a little too big. And I'm going to change the background color to a darker blue. I'm just going to plop and drop there. There you go. See how it's adding those really cool stars there? Um, try another effect. Let's see what we can do here. There you have it. Some really simple tutorials. I was going to work on another image, um, this one here, but I mean you guys have already seen this particular example so it won't matter. But as you can see, it's very simple. Now you don't have to rely on so many stock background images. You can even design your own. Um, and I hope this tutorial was really helpful. If you guys found it interesting, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can also check out my website and see if there's anything useful you can find it on there. I'm still working on it, so there won't be too much content, but if you get a chance, please visit it. Um, in addition, uh, just, uh, just want to give a shout out and thanks to everyone who's been following up on my uh, Pixlr tutorials.